Brian Danielson did a, a series of interviews, and statements got out regarding his usage of the yes chant. And in the Barstool interview, Barstool Sports, he said he did the he uh, did the chant because it was an easy way to get a crowd response and to get the fans to show how excited they were about a potential match. I'm not doing it myself because I respect WWE's intellectual property, he said. I don't think anything legally. They haven't threatened anything legally. I had a great conversation with Kevin Dunn before I debuted with AEW. I was very upfront with WWE on, quote, I want to let you guys know I'm leaving. This is my debut date. They asked me politely to respect their intellectual property, even on some things that couldn't be legally enforced. I'm trying my best to do that. He explained to Meltzer that WWE has never spoken to him about the chance. His meeting with Dunn was about intellectual property, but mainly music. Music? He said Dunn never brought up the chance and that there has never been a threat discussion or even a legal letter regarding anything. Can you imagine WWE wanting ownership of Flight of the Valkyries? Anyway, hey, listen, I'm all about intellectual property. If WWE came up with an idea and they ask someone to please not use it when they leave, that's fine. They came up with the idea. They did not come up with the yes chance. Daniel Bryan came up with that, and he stole it from Diego Sanchez. So I'm glad it's been clarified that if he wanted to do the yes chance, he could, but he is not going to. He wants to differentiate the Daniel Bryan character from Bryan Danielson he said the fans can chant it all they want, but he's likely not going to do it. Uh, just interesting to hear about intellectual property with Yes Chance, which WWE didn't create, and Flight of the Valkyries, which is not a Jim Johnson production, or whatever that other guy was. Anyway, thoughts on any of this, Mike? <laughs> I don't. Why, why are you surprised that they would have a conversation about intellectual property with Daniel Well, Bryan they do have Neville? some intellectual property. Like, I they came they, up with the Yes Movement. They have, well, exactly. The Yes Movement, they have the shirts that say yes, 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 all that sort of stuff. So to have the conversation uh, it makes complete sense. And they do, everybody's got a different take on Flight of the Valkyries. Obviously, it's not the original classical version that WWE used. They morphed it into what they morphed it into. So I'm sure they had, they, they, I'm sure they knew how much uh, Final Countdown costs. Everybody seemed to know that Europe wanted in a disgusting amount of money. So I'm sure they knew he was going to come out to fly to the Valkyries. I'm sure it's just about, hey, can you make this thing different? Which it is. It's completely different than the version they use. So I know it sounds petty, but I, I can actually, I understand that. And I can see that being a very cordial conversation that was had. And obviously Daniel Bryan is still going to, all he's got to do, he doesn't even have to point. He's just got to look at the crowd and they're going to chant yes. So... That is what it is. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.